boys and girls, today is the day. Today is the day for two things. Today is, the, I don't know which one of these is more important. I'll decide as the day goes on. Today is the day where um, England play Germany in the last 16 of the Euros. But immediately before that, I have to go to hospital to have a um, echocardiogram on the, uh, on the old ticker. Um, my appointment for that is at 4.20 this evening. And the England game kicks off at five o'clock. I've been told this echocardiogram thing takes between 20 minutes and half an hour to do. We're about 15 minutes away from the hospital. We live about 15 minutes away from the hospital. So if I get there early and they do it fast, I might just get home in time for the kickoff for the football. Um, but I'm equally excited about the football and nervous about having to go to hospital and have my heart examined. Do you know what so, they should, don't we? <laughs> no, it's a terrible day. They should probably cancel it. Although, I guess, one of the best places I could be while England play Germany in a knockout football tournament is in a heart clinic. So, I don't know if I'm going to get to watch kickoff. I don't know if I'm going to get to come home. They might tell me after I go into the hospital, oh, yeah, we, we, need, to, uh, we need to fix this now. I might miss the entire football. Who knows? Oh, but you'll be gutted. I know. Well, I think I'm gutted for more than one reason. <laughs> but I'm, I am equally, equal parts, nervous about that and excited about the football. So at the moment, I am unbearable. So Anna's job between now and then is to keep me amused and keep me out of trouble. So she's brought me to my favourite place. We're at B&M. We're going to go and have a look at the toys and... Then I should probably go home and get some work done. Andy's just gone to school and he's uh, he's very excited because he's got a school trip coming up tomorrow that he's very much looking forward to. He's going to Wicksteed Park with a school trip um, at school and he's not stopped talking about that all day. So they've had the perfect way to get him back into the school routine again. Um, and now Anna needs to go from Andy being excited about Wicksteed Park to dealing with me being excited at the football but terrified I'm going to die. So good luck with that. <laughs> Let's go buy some toys. We've just made it home. And I won't let me stand just outside the door, but just the other side of that door is the guy with his strimmer who cut through the internet the other week. I don't know if that was him knocking on the door. Or if it was his strimmer banging into it. I'm just hovering near the door before I put the shopping away, just to make sure. He doesn't get too close. Watch him through the little thing. Well, as anticipated, very busy day in process. It's all right. Process? Progress? Pro progress. Busy day in progress. It's already half past two. We just got back from picking Andy up from school. He is even giddier with excitement than he was this morning about going to Wicksteed Park tomorrow. They've spent the day making tie-dye shirts so they can all wear tie-dye shirts so they all look like they're part of the same group, I guess. Makes them easier to find tomorrow. They've all made their shirts today and they've got to wear them tomorrow. So, um, yeah, he's just giddy, giddy, giddy with excitement. I have made my Football Manager videos. I've been making some Football Manager TikToks as well. I've been doing some stuff over there. Um, I've now got about 45 minutes to get those videos edited and hopefully uploaded, or that might be ambitious, just edited maybe will be enough before I have to head to the hospital for hopefully a quick routine appointment that goes fine so that I can then get home to watch the football and, you know, for health reasons too. But they're, they're both reasons to just want it to be quick and fine. Well, I've just got to the hospital. Potential problem one with getting out quickly afterwards. I've not carried a wallet for like a year and a half since before all the pandemic stuff happened because I've not used cash. I have, app, I have an Apple Watch with wireless uh, paying. It's in my phone. I can pay contactless. The parking here doesn't look like it's contactless. I have no wallet with me. Even if I get done quickly, I'm not sure I'm getting out of this place. I have, however, dressed appropriately to let them know that I'm in a hurry without having to tell them I'm in a hurry. Well, I am out two minutes before my allotted appointment time was due to begin. So it's 18 minutes past four. I've now got to hope I can get out of this car park and see if I can get home. I actually might make it. Um, she said, they, didn't, they don't really tell you anything at these appointments. She said the results would come through to my GP within a couple of weeks. I did the usual trying to squeeze any information I could out of them and said, 
is there anything I need to be immediately worried about? And she said, no, I don't think so. It all looks fine. I need to have a proper look for the report. But theoretically, on first inspection, it all looks good. So fingers crossed, within a couple of weeks, I get the all clear to go back to the gym and start doing something more intense than just walking. The machine had Apple Pay. Exciting times, it's 22 minutes past four. As long as traffic is good on the way home, we should be back in time for kickoff. Well, boys and girls, the England match has just finished. I've had to take the shirt off and hang it back up, because obviously it's now a lucky shirt that can't be washed. I've worn that for all four. In fact, the one game I don't think I did wear it for. I don't think I wore it for the Scotland game. Maybe I did wear it for the Scotland game. Either way, it's officially been declared lucky shirt status. So obviously it can't now be washed and I'll just wear it for matches. So that's good. got hung back up on the door and uh, maybe it's coming home after all. I now need to sit and watch the Sweden-Ukraine game so I can scout our next opponent, set up my, uh, my tweets at the weekend are as insightful as they have been this time. But all in all, very, very exciting times. Um, I, I think I said everything I needed to say about the hospital appointment earlier. I, uh, I Basically, what I was having was an echocardiogram, not to be confused with an ECG, which I think a lot of people did confuse it with when I talked about it last time. An ECG is what I had when I went into A&E. I've been into the GPs to have them before as well, where they basically just strap some sensors on you and do the little beep, 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 beep thing and there's a print out that shows how your heart is beating it's basically looking for any irregularities in the heartbeat an echocardiogram is an ultrasound of my heart so um, they had me strapped down to a table and it's very similar to how I remember ultrasounds being for pregnant women they have this splurgy gel stuff that they cover you with and uh, this rod that it then gets prodded into and in between and around my ribs and very uncomfortable, it took about 10 minutes and they were pressing really, really, really hard having a... Oh, blimey. They were pressing really, really, really hard having a, having a good old pressing around here and all over this part of my chest and in my neck and in my stomach and just really, I guess, trying to get every possible angle they could to have a proper look at my heart. Uh, she said she needs to properly examine it and write a report that will go through to my GP, which will be there within a couple of weeks. And then my GP will discuss any next course of action that there might be. And then I've got my um, official appointment with the cardiology consultant in September. But if there's any more urgent matter that comes off the back of the echo, then that can be brought forward. But... I did try and push her for as much information as possible. She couldn't really give me anything. She kept saying, well, I won't know for sure until I've done the detailed work in the report. And I said, well, answer me this question then. Is there is there anything I need to be immediately worried about tonight? And she said, I don't think so. It looks okay, but I don't want to make promises one way or the other. So you need to wait for the report. Chase it up with your GP in a couple of weeks. So... Fingers crossed, the lack of urgency again fills me with fills me with hope that what happened, what, nearly six weeks ago now, was just a complete one-off and hopefully normal life can start resuming in a couple of weeks. I can get back in the gym and stop worrying quite so much that I'm going to keel over at any moment. I don't know what it will mean for the meds that I'm on now because I'm now taking, the, in addition to my three blood pressure medications I was taking before, I've now got daily beta blockers and blood thinners whether or not i'll need to continue taking those if they decide there's nothing wrong with the heart other than the high blood pressure i guess we shall see but i need to stop waffling to you and get on with watching the sweden ukraine game which is about to kick off need to get you edited as well so we'll wrap this up here and i'll check in with you again very very soon